Let's take a little tour of the TI Inspire Live Presenter. In order to get to Live Presenter, you must first press this icon, the little camera icon, to take a screen capture. So, and um, I've already pressed it, and so it's not an option. That's important to note for teachers who are like, it's not working. Uh, that's because it's already activated. So we have our screen capture, and uh, we see that two people aren't really logged in anymore. And if you if you click on someone who is logged in, then right here we see Make Presenter. Um, if you look under the view, this is referred to as the Live Presenter. And it looks like if you're, I pressed my Control M on my computer, I could make somebody the presenter. And so here we go. We um, it makes it very large, but okay, fit it on the, this little screen, and we can see everything that the student presses. If you say, okay, please go to the next page, down there at the bottom, since we have the show key press history checked, we can see they press control, and and look at this on the handheld, it says control up here, and when they arrow to over. And we can see the red arrow, and we can see the key press history. Now they're moving around, and, and uh, a skill that takes a little practice for students and for teachers at first is to be able to grab something. And so we can explain the hand is closed if you do control and click, and this person successfully grabbed that point. They could move it around, and we could ask them to move point A such that they get a negative slope. So they're moving. Oh, look, there's negative one sixteenth, negative one fifth, and so now have a negative slope. You can see every time I press click or control, control, and again here it appears right here. Also, this is handy if we want to say, hey, take a look, are you in um, radians or, or degrees? And we can see um, how much um, battery power they, they have left. And um, Now, there's a couple other options. We could not show the handheld. The nice part about this is then you have more room to show the key press history. Um, another option is to show the student name or, or not to show the student name. So it could be an anonymous feature. Most of the time I have um, the view that looks pretty much like this. And um, there is the start recording. It doesn't record any audio, just the visual. And it's useful for um, helping students uh, do all sorts of things. For example, um, early in the year, if we want to, to help them um, walk others through of how to um, press the home button and go to the my documents then we can see what's in the my documents and, and open up another file and so forth and we could talk about how to navigate around there with the um, arrowing to the left to collapse that arrow to the right to expand it and they can press enter or click to open it. Do you want to say what you're working on? Um, typically, no. If we did say yes, then we'd have to come up with a name for it. And so there is the live presenter. And here is how you can stop the presenter.